when I planted the Charlotte Ross Mulberry or Mojo Berry, uh, it was planted right next to that ornamental flowering tree. And every year I heavily pruned back the ornamental to allow this dwarf mulberry to develop. But I think it's time now to allow that ornamental to, to come through and they can both sort of live together. Because this mulberry, although it's supposed to be a dwarf variety, I suppose relatively compared to a full-size mulberry tree, it is it, it grows to like five metres. I have to prune it back every year now. I've, I've done that for the last, say, two or three years. And also the roots, I prune back the roots. But it's literally covered in fruit right to the tips. Um, it will fruit from May to November, probably the most productive fruit tree. So on 6th of April, it's the, the little fruitlets on the peach, the mini bonanza, have now developed. There's probably hundreds of them on there, and they'll need heavily thin in. I'll probably leave maybe 30 or 40 fruit on it this year. And I've never shown this uh, Merton Glory in full flower. It's uh, probably the most showy che um, cherry or fruit tree, uh, one of the most showy ones. <laughs>